أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مس دفا يو بير I hope you are all fine by the grace of Allah سبحانه وتعالى It's time to learning Now we start our lesson See these beautiful ducks and these uncountable trees Playing children, bunches of flower and fruits These are all shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made everything in this, in this world in pair, couple or groups These groups are called sets Now we are learning about sets A set is a group or collection of well-defined and distinct object Beta, here two words are new for you well defined and distinct I will define both words individually first word is distinct distinct means all the objects different from each other kisi bhi set ke tamam objects ek dusre se distinct hote hain means different hote hain you have seen in previous examples where all the ducks and trees were different from each other that is distinct and well defined means objects must be defined clearly for example beautiful flower in garden which flower is more beautiful i think every flower is more beautiful like my student are you smiling hmm allah subhanahu wa taala hamesha hasta muskurata rakhe it is not defined clearly that's why we cannot consider it as set provinces of pakistan can you tell me the name of provinces of pakistan yes i know you can to kya ye well defined hai yes that's why it is set see this example intelligent students in your school who is more intelligent sab kahenge हम ज़्यादा इंटेलिजेंट हैं सो कैन वी कंसीडर इट एज सेट नो रिमेंबर वन थिंग वैन वी यूज एनी एडजेक्टिव वर्ड लाइक ब्यूटीफुल इंटेलिजेंट टॉल और शॉर्ट टू शो अवर कलेक्शन इन मैथमेटिक्स दैट विल बी नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज सेट नाउ जस्ट पाउस दिस विच यू एंड सर्च सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सेट्स इन यूर सराउंडिंग Have you done? Yes, I know you have done. अचानक से मुझे ख्याल आया My hands and fingers are also the example of sets. Your family members, your class fellows are examples of sets. आपके जैसा कोई और घर में है नहीं ना आप individually different हैं means distinct हैं इसी तरह आपके class fellows भी एक ही जगह गैदर होते हैं लेकिन एक दूसरे से डिफरेंट होते हैं मीन्स डिस्टिंग होते हैं सो द कलेक्शन एंड डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ सम थिंग्स मेक्स दैम सेट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट सेट नाउ बेटा लिसन केयरफुली फॉर सेट रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव टू लर्न सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट सेट फर्स्ट वन इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेट्स आर कॉल्ड एलिमेंट्स और मेम्बर ऑफ सेट मीन्स किसी भी सेट में मौजूद तमाम ऑब्जेक्ट्स मेंबर या एलिमेंट्स कहलाते हैं यू कैन सी एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन इज अ एलिमेंट ऑफ सेट टू इज द मेंबर ऑफ सेट थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ऑल्सो द एलिमेंट्स और मेंबर ऑफ सेट्स कॉट इट द सेकेंड वन इज दैट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन अ सेट is written within a pair of curly bracket means when we represent a set we pack all the objects only in curly bracket we cannot use any other bracket you can see in this example 1 2 3 4 5 are written within a pair of curly bracket you can see in this picture where i have show you example of set we all have a good name people call us with our name 
Like this, we will show a set with name. But remember, it must be capital letter like A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All the elements of set, we will put comma between elements to separate them. And we will pack all elements in curly bracket like this example. Now, beta, we will learn some type of sets. The first type of set is empty set. The name of set shows that there are no elements or member in this set. For example, an empty room. You can see on your screen, set A has no elements. Got it? A set containing no element is called empty set. It is also called null set. The second type of set is finite set. Finite means something limited. Something countable. Got it? A set containing only finite or limited objects or elements means kisi bhi set ke elements or members up count kar sakte hain that is called finite set. You can see the example of finite set on your screen. B has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 elements. There are 6 elements in this set. That's why this set is called finite set. Like your family members. Can you count your family members? Yes. Can you count your class fellows? Yes. These are some examples of finite set. The third one is infinite set. This is the opposite of finite set. Got it? Infinite means something unlimited or uncountable. A set containing uncountable or unlimited number of elements that is called infinite set. Agar kisi bhi set ke elements or members ap count nahi kar sakte, to wo set infinite set hoga. You can observe the example of infinite set in your surrounding. Stars on a sky. Can you count all stars? Not at all. Like this. Leaves of a tree. Can we count leaves of tree? No, we cannot. So, these are the example of infinite set. You can see the example of infinite set on your screen. Look this example. C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Dotted line shows unlimited number of elements. The fourth type of sets is equal sets. Means comparatively two sets contain the same number of elements and same elements. Means beta ke jab kisi two do sets ke ek jaise elements ho aur kitne elements hain ye bhi same ho to wo sets kehlate hain equal set. You can see the example of equal sets on your screen. D and E. Both sets have four number of elements and the elements are all same. D has 1, 2, 3 and 4 elements and E has also 1, 2, 3 and 4 elements. जी बेटा जैसा कि D में भी आप देख रहे हैं 1, 2, 3 and 4 elements हैं और E में भी 1, 2, 3 and 4 elements हैं. The fifth one type of set is equivalent set. Means comparatively two sets which have equal number of elements. अब equivalent set में बेटा दोनों sets के number of elements same होंगे यानी उनकी तादाद same होंगी और elements कौन कौन से हैं ये different हो सकते हैं. You can see the example of equivalent set. Here I have mentioned two sets E and G. Both sets have four number of elements. E has four elements and G also has four elements. But the elements are not same because E has A, B, C, D and G has 1, 2, 3, 4. For example, आपकी और आपकी फ्रेंड की फैमिली मेंबर्स की 
तादा सेम हो सकती दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इक्वल एंड सेट लेट्स स्टार्ट एन एदर टॉपिक अबाउट सेट्स द टॉपिक इज डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ सेट्स सेट्स को हम कितने तरीकों से डिस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं A set can be represented in three forms. First one, descriptive form. Second one, set builder form. And third one, tabular form. Means किसी भी set को represent करने के ये तीन तरीके हैं जिनके जरिए हम किसी set को read करते हैं The first one is descriptive form. A set described in a sentence of any language. Means जब भी हम किसी लैंग्वेज के किसी सेंटेंस के थ्रू किसी सेट को डिस्क्राइब करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड डिस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर्म फॉर एग्जांपल ए इज इक्वल टू फर्स्ट फाइव नेचुरल नंबर्स लुक हियर द सेट इज मेंशन इन अ सेंटेंस एंड द एलिमेंट्स आर नॉट मेंशन सेपरेटली दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर्म The second one is set builder form. A set written as a rule by symbol and sign means जब किसी set को आप represent करें with symbol and sign, तो वो set set builder form कहलाती है Here you can see a set. In this set, we can see some letter and symbols, and we will read it. A is equal to x such that x is a natural number. And x is smaller than six. And the third one is tabular form, a form in which we write all the elements directly. Means, जब किसी sets के तमाम elements को हम उसमें mention करें, तो वो set form form of sets tabular forms कहलाती हैं. A is equal to one, two, three, four, five. यहाँ look here. A has five elements. and we can see all elements let's start your work kyunki sirf video dekhna kaam nahi tha balki kaam ab start hoga now open your copy and book before you start your work do pages in copy make index write exercise and question number now just open your book exercise 1 and copy down question number 1 with neat and clean handwriting Question number one: Pick out the well-defined sets. Uh, part one: A is equal to Test cricket captain of Pakistan. It is well-defined or not? Part two: B is equal to tasty food item. Can you uh, define it clearly? Part three: C is equal to Prime Minister of Pakistan. Do you know who is the Prime Minister of Pakistan? Yes. So it is well-defined. Or not. Number four, D is equal to naughty student in your class. Do you know who is naughty? In my class, every student is naughty. और मुझे लगता है हर student दूसरे से ज़्यादा naughty है. तो it is well defined or not. Number five, E is equal to mathematics teachers in your school. Can you recognize your math teacher? So. It is well defined or not? Number six, f is equal to large number. It is clearly defined to you because every next number is larger than previous one. क्योंकि हर number अपने previous number से larger या greater होता है. Number seven, g is equal to capital of province you live in. In which province do you live? It is well defined to you or not? Number eight, H is equal to games. Do you like playing? Which game do you like? Everyone like different games. That's why we cannot consider it as set. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, we have completed our first class, and now. You have to complete your question number one of exercise one. Take care of yourself and your family, and remember us in your du'a. Allah Hafiz.